On the previous installment of Simsville, Mortimer came across a mysterious stranger who issued him an unnerving warning, all the while still being utterly perplexed about what role Dina and neighbor Dawn play in Bella's disappearance. Mortimer needs help, but where will he find it? Still no luck, huh? Is there something I can help you with? I know this is probably a redundant question, but have you tried contacting the police? Of course I have. It seems the sheriff of this town is more interested in raccoons going through our trash than finding my missing wife. I feel like I need to apologize about my sister. She can be insensitive sometimes. Has she sent you here on her behalf? No. Honestly, she doesn't know I'm here. And may I ask, what are you doing here? We haven't really been properly introduced. Mm, I did note that on our first meeting. You were indeed very quiet. Yeah, Dina likes to do most of the talking. You feel overshadowed by her? <laughs> you could say that. Look, Mortimer, if there is anything I can do to help, I'm here. <sighs> Actually... There is one thing that is continuing to elude me. What's that? What connection does your sister have with Don Lothario? Oh, I don't know. She keeps her business private. But you live together, do you not? We do. But believe me, Dina is a closed book when it comes to her conquests. Fair enough. Take care, Mortimer. Trying to get your energy back? Listen, Dina. We need to talk. I feel we get on best when we don't talk. If you know what I mean. What is this? Between us, what is it? Are you doing this just to keep me quiet? What if I am? I don't hear you complaining. I I'm not. It's just, you've already told me not to tell anyone what happened to Bella. And I haven't. So, why are you still keeping an eye on me? Oh, Don, honey. I know you won't tell anyone. Maybe I just enjoy what we do. I keep thinking about what happened. Y you know? Sometimes I can't sleep. No. No talking about it. No thinking about it, you forget everything you saw. Do you understand me? I thought we'd been over this. In the modern age of technology, it's far easier to find one's location than one realizes. What are you doing here? I told you to stay away. I've decided to ignore your advice because nothing is going to stop me from finding my wife, no matter how dangerous. Mortimer, trust me when I say, continue down this path, and it will only lead to trouble. Don't visit me again. Mortimer, are you okay? Uh, fine, uh, thank you. Are you sure? You don't look it. Everything's okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I, I must start dinner. Without sounding too forward, why don't you let me make you and your daughter something to eat? You look tired and you need to rest. I am rather sleep deprived. I suppose that would be nice. Thank you. So does Cassandra normally eat dinner in her room? Every night for the past couple of years. I'm sure her mother being missing isn't helping. I, I wouldn't know. She hasn't uttered a word to me or my wife in months. 
And how are you? Really, losing your wife must be hard for you. I haven't lost her. She will come back. I didn't mean... Ugh, I'm sorry. It's quite alright. Your heart was in the right place. So you have no leads whatsoever on Bella? Well, perhaps. Uh, never mind. No, you can talk to me. Please. Whatever is said between us stays between us. A man approached me a few days ago with some information. But instead of staying true to his word, he refused to divulge anything useful. Who is he? He calls himself Darren Dreamer. I managed to track him down, but he is still staying tight-lipped. I think I know how I can help. What exactly is your plan? You said he wouldn't let you in. Well, he doesn't know me, so there is no reason he won't talk to me. Hi there. I was wondering if I could borrow a cup of sugar. The local store happens to still be open. Honestly, uh, would it be totally inappropriate for me to ask to use your bathroom? What are you doing here? I must talk to you. It is vitally important. Leave now! Just listen to what he has to say. My wife means the absolute world to me. And I cannot get a wink of sleep knowing she's not by my side. Please, if you know anything, anything at all about her disappearance, I must know. Please? <sighs> Fine. But I warned you before, and I will warn you again. If I show you this, you're putting yourself and me in grave danger. <sighs> it's worth the risk. Uh, both of you, follow me. Once I open this door, there's no turning back. Do you understand, chaps? Oh my... <laughs>